So the HomePod is Apple's first completely new gadget since the Apple Watch. And it came out on Friday. I picked mine up then and I've been listening to it ever since. Setup was pretty easy. Just get, take it out of the box. There are no ports, nothing to plug in except power. So you just plug it into power and then you unlock an iPhone or an iPad close to it and the first time you get this little prompt there and it just walks you through a few steps. And Once it's set up you can control it then from any other iOS device or Mac that you've got using your same Apple ID. It's both an AirPlay device so you can use AirPlay to basically have uh, music or any sound coming from your Mac or any iOS device and it also can play stuff on its own. So you basically got two modes for the HomePod. One is as an AirPlay device where you're streaming music from either a Mac or an iOS device and the other is when it's playing music on its own. Let's look at AirPlay first. So on the Mac the only real way to control it is either to go to your speaker icon here and select the HomePod as your AirPlay device, your audio out device. I've got my HomePod set up and called Office so if I were to select it here then any sound that I play from my Mac, whether it's a YouTube video I'm watching on the web uh, or music I'm playing or anything I'm doing is going to go out to the HomePod. Now it doesn't work that great. This is just AirPlay 1. AirPlay 2 comes out in a few weeks and hopefully it will improve it. The main problem is just a, a lag, a delay in the music. So if you're trying to watch a video you've got a fraction of a second delay. Hopefully AirPlay 2 will take care of that until that it's not kind of ideal to do that. But listening to music is no problem because you don't notice the delay. There's no visual cue to show you uh, that the music's like a fraction of a second behind what your computer is playing. Now the other way to do it is inside of iTunes itself you have the ability to select your output and you can select Office here, my HomePod, it even shows you a little icon of a HomePod and just iTunes is now playing music out through the HomePod. Now on your iPhone you can also use it as an AirPlay device. Anywhere you have the choice of an AirPlay output you can choose your HomePod. So for instance here for music I can go and change to Office and use it in the music app in this case or in any other app that has AirPlay which is just about everything. So, uh, so that's really nice to be able to do. It works on the iPhone and the iPad. Instantly any app really that has sound is going to be able to play through the HomePod. So if you're using the HomePod on its own you just say the magic words and you ask Siri to play some music. Now you're really going to need Apple Music to be able to do that. It really doesn't work with anything else. It does work with iTunes Match so if you have iTunes Match you can ask it to play any music that you have. But it's really meant to work with an Apple Music subscription. Now once you have it playing there's no visual feedback to what's playing. Uh, the screen at the top really just has plus and minus buttons for volume and when you are talking to Siri you can see the colorful orb in the middle uh, listening. But it doesn't show you what song's playing. You can actually do that on your iPhone. There's no way to do it on the Mac but on the iPhone or iPad you can bring up Control Center and you've got these controls here and notice you've got the control at the top for what's playing on your iPhone and you have these other controls for every AirPlay device it could find. So there's some of my Apple TVs and there's my HomePod called Office and it shows what's playing. I, you can switch to any one of these by just tapping on it. So you switch to the HomePod and now I can see what's playing even if it was Siri that initiated the, the music playing, not my iPhone itself. It still gives me that feedback and allows me to control the HomePod a little bit. So that's kind of nice. I wish there was a way to do that on the Mac but it's nice there's at least a way to do that in iOS. Now there are some settings for the HomePod and the way to get to those is you have to be using an iOS device and you have to go to the Home app. The Home app is usually used for HomeKit, you know, controlling lights and a thermostat and everything in your house. But even if you don't use it for that you're still going to find the HomePod there. And you can select the HomePod and it will actually start playing or stop playing just like turning on and off a light. But if you tap and hold it it will bring up this screen here and you've got a Details button and you can bring up the details and here you can actually change the name of the HomePod and the room it's in uh, and you can do a bunch of different things. You can also work with some of the settings so for instance you can uh, you know, turn on some of the music type settings like whether Apple Music uh, explicit contents allowed, uh, whether it ties into your listening history with Apple Music. 
You can turn on or off Hey Siri. You can see I've turned it off here so that it doesn't respond like it would have just now. Um, touch and hold which allows you to touch this, the screen on the top of uh, the HomePod. Uh, all sorts of different things to customize. Even accessibility features and things like that. So uh, you've got some settings that you can control. You need an iOS device to do that. But it's good to know that those are there. So other than that uh, it does sound great like everybody else is saying. It's got a great woofer in it so you really can feel the music. And uh, and Siri responds great. You don't have to raise your voice to talk to Siri. Uh, even if the music is really loud you can speak at normal level and it will hear you through the music. Uh, and you can ask Siri normal things like tell you the weather or uh, what movies are playing nearby uh, and set reminders and timers and things like that. 